great starting hole. This short par 5 dog legs up the escarpment. A straight drive will keep you out of the bunker on the right and the mounds on the left. The second shot is the key to scoring well on this hole. If you are lying up, stay right as there is a large pond to the left. A beautiful downhill par 4. A good force carry drive will set you up with a short to mid iron into a narrow green with bunkers on either side and a naturalized area to the back. Par is a good score on this hole. A lengthy par 3, slightly uphill, deceives many players with its false front. Hitting to a two-tier green with a bunker on the left makes for a difficult but fair tee shot. A good drive on this hole will put you in position to go for the green on this relatively short par 5. Out of bounds is to the left and a bunker on the right is in range off the tee. The key to scoring on this hole is to keep your approach to the right side as the green slopes from left to right. A tough up and down awaits you if you're on the left side of this green. A challenging par 3 with a large bunker on the left hand side and a small grass bunker on the short right side of this screen. Distance control is the key to success on this hole. A drivable par 4 can be played in two ways. The first, go for the green, which brings out of bounds into play on the left and a reachable bunker and fescue to the right. The second and smart plays would be to lay up and give yourself a good approach shot to the sloping green. Your hole, a par 5 that heads up the escarpment. Out of bounds on the right with fescue and long rough on the left makes for a precision golf shot up the chute. Depending on the distance from the hole, you can lay up or try to go for it in two. A picturesque green surrounded by natural stone with one of the best views the GTA has to offer. A short par 3 that requires distance control. Bunkers on both sides, a steep slope to a hazard over the back makes this short par 3 a very challenging hole. This is a great hole, ranked number one in difficulty on the scorecard. It's a par four that requires a long tee shot to put a shorter iron in your hand for your approach. Hazard is located all along the right side. When you reach this rolling green, you will see there are bunkers on both sides. You don't want to be long on this hole. This average length par four is a great starter to the back nine. The ideal tee shot would be to land your shot over the gully, leaving yourself between a 100 to 150 yard approach to the green. A bunker on the left, out of bounds right, demands distance and accuracy. A short par 4 with a sloping fairway from left to right demands a well placed tee shot to ensure an attractive approach shot into a tricky green. Keep your tee shot to the left of the fairway for the best outcome. The first par 5 on the back 9 entails a forced carry drive over a naturalized area and up a hill. The key to this challenging hole is to place your second shot near the 100 yard marker. If you go further, your ball will run down into the gully for an undesirable blind shot to the green, which has bunkers in the front and behind. A 
demanding par 3 with a panoramic view of the GTA. This hole requires a controlled tee shot to a two-tiered green, but don't go long as there is a hazard behind this tricky green. Another picturesque downhill par 4, mounds on the left and a hazard to the right. The key to scoring well on this hole is your approach shot. If you don't hit the green, your ball will run down the hill to the right, left and back. A challenging uphill par 3, bunkers to the left of the green demand a precision tee shot will enable a good score for this hole. A very challenging dogleg par 5 heading up the escarpment. A three shot hole that requires a large drive to the fairway, a solid layup and a difficult approach to a three tiered green with bunkers on the right. Bombs away. A great driving hole down the escarpment provides for a fantastic view of the GTA. Club selection is the key for challenging second shot downhill. Par is a great score for this hole. Playing from the back tees, you must carry your drive over the naturalized area. For those playing the blue and white tees, a blind tee shot awaits you. From there, a longer iron to a green with bunkers left and long. Rated the fourth hardest hole on the golf course, the 18th is not an easy finishing hole. <laughs> 